Hey YouTube, what's up? This is the Evil Hackers. Um, this is my top 10 iPad 2 themes, and I did get a tripod, so now the video, the camera won't be wobbly as it was in my iPad 2 theme, iPad 2 theme video. Sorry, but I, I had a tripod in order, and it just came today, so I'm gonna make a new video with it. Uh, if you want to see my iPad 2 themes, there'll be a link right here. Uh, I already got a thousand view guys. Thank you. That's the most videos I ever. That's the most views I ever had on a video. Maybe I can get to ten thousand, or a couple thousand. Doesn't really matter. But let's just jump right into this. Uh, the number one tweak I want to talk about today is SB settings. Everybody should know what SB settings is. It's a very old tweak. I'm just gonna X out of that really quick. Uh, I'll show you examples of this. Activates the airplane mode. You could manage your Bluetooth. Change the brightness up and down. You could activate data, process, and Wi-Fi. Uh, more gives you themes, and you could add applications to the dock, which gives you hidden icons. Uh, refresh means it just cleans up SB settings, so it takes all these stuff off. You could respring your device, original respring it, and power. If you click on power, it gives you the option to reboot, power off, safe mode, and lock. Uh, that's basically all SB settings is. Uh, the theme I have on now is Impulse for iPad. Same theme I have right here comes with an SB settings themes. But the then that's number one. Number two is the barrel tweak. Everybody knows what barrel is. It's been in there for a while. It just gives you uh, options for your springboard so you can make the page look cool when you turn it. It's better than the default Apple page where the icons just slip. If uh, it gives you a settings panel too, so. We'll open up settings and we'll go to barrel and we'll click on it. And it gives you a bunch of options. I like icon collection the best because it collects all the icons. It looks really cool. That's that one. Next one's corner volume. When I'm watching a video on my iPad, uh, I'm, I'm annoyed when the volume comes up right in the middle of the screen because if I'm trying to turn the volume up, I miss something. I gotta rewind it and I have to watch most of the video over again. But this, when I, when I play it, I'll Play it. I the the volume's right here, so it's not in the way. <laughs> Sorry, that's Pineapple Express. Uh, it comes in handy when something's going on in the middle of the screen. Uh, the next one's called uh, grab uh, full force. Sorry, that that was the next one. Full force. Um, normally, this game in AIM or uh, iPhone app, so when we click on it, it's full screen for iPad. Which I think is really, really useful. Sorry, I got that's Facebook notifications. Um, but uh, it's really easy when you open your settings. You click on Full Force. These are all the icons that I have on Full Force right now. These are the uh, system applications like Remove Background and Dreamboard. They are off because they are normally iPad apps. But um, it comes in handy if there's like an iPhone game that you want and it's not available for the iPad. Just download it and it's full screen. Without the uh, pixelated picture. And that's number. That's number four. The next one is uh, full for up uh, gravity board. Gravity board has been out there for a while too. It's when you uh, activate it and you can play around your icons on your springboard by throwing them around, making them bounce off each other. It's really useful if you have nothing to do on your springboard. Uh, I use it when I'm say I'm downloading something on my iTunes and I don't want to and I want the and the Wi-Fi is taking forever and I want to play an online game I just play around with this until it's done the next one is I type Apple icon what's this says when you go to type something you hold the A there's an Apple icon I'm not sure if you can see that but there's an Apple icon right there and click on it and it actually shows an Apple I have it in the I have it in notes right there I have Apple Apple A Apple which is really cool um but Anybody can see this. It's not like you need an iPhone or an iPod Touch or an iPad to see it. Anybody can see it. You could post it on Facebook, post it on Twitter. Like on Twitter, I posted I like apples. And by the way, guys, I'm going to have a Twitter soon. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'll have a link below when I make a Twitter account. But it's really useful. The next one is MT Gestures Theme. What this does, it gives you multitasking gestures theme. So, like, uh, I have four, 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 or five, six, four or five fingers to... Uh, slide up the background and what's really cool about this is four or five fingers you can slide over between pages so you don't have to use the multitasking see then it will go next to videos in Cydia which is really useful and really good if you don't feel like using your home button too much but I barely even use my home button oh and uh, another way 
uh, it's you go like this to if you go like, go like that exit to the home screen which is really really cool you can that doesn't do anything where you open it up like that doesn't really do anything but uh, that's number seven number eight is multi icon mover here we should know multi icon mover is where I can move multiple icons onto a different page so that I'd move on a page you can move them back you don't. You can't put them in folders though. That only works on the iPhone, four, or in the iPod, in the iPod, and all that stuff. It doesn't work for the iPad yet. I'm probably gonna have an update soon. But that's number eight. Uh, number nine is remove background. So I don't. So you don't have to hold icons in and delete them all. All you have to do. I have it activated, so I hit the home button twice. So we're gonna go one, two, slide up, and it's gone. And it gives, makes your device a little bit faster. Basically, it uh, it gives you an icon right here. Remove background, so it does it. Oh, I'll show you an example really quick of uh, full force. We'll delete that from our background really quick. We'll go to our settings. We'll turn it on to that, and we'll go back to it. Open it, and it's full screen now, guys. See that? It's full screen now. No times two. Awesome. And number 10 is Fake Operator. As you can see right here, instead of iPad, I have an Apple icon, thanks to the iType Apple Access. And no restriction required for this, it's called Fake Operator. And it's right here, you enable it, you can type whatever you want. I could type in uh, some random stuff. Click that, and it's there. It only goes up to about 1, 2, 3, 10 letters, so you can type whatever you want. But I like this simple. Apple. I can I can go like this. I can go Apple iPad. And there's just Apple iPad. But the, that's really cool. Remember, guys, I'll have an annotation right here if you want to see my iPad 2 themes. Uh, that's basically it for this video, guys. Remember to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Click that subscribe button right there. Help me out a lot. I only got a couple subscribers. He's a little bit more. But guys, this is the evil actors and I'm out.